Why, hi there. I'm Ron Zuckett, and Box Score Communications presents Boston Red Sox Replay 2004. Today, Patriots Day, April 19th. The Red Sox take on the New York Yankees. Well, a very good morning to you, and a very special day always in New England, Marathon Monday, and the Red Sox hope to even or get out of Fenway Park with a 2-2 split against the American League East City New York Yankees this morning. It's 60 degrees, it's clear, the winds are calm. And for those running along the streets of Boston from Framingham into downtown Boston, a beautiful day for that, just absolutely gorgeous. So let's take a look at the lineup for the New York Yankees as they hope to get out of here with three wins. And remember, these two teams play over the weekend in New York at Yankee Stadium. Derek Jeter will lead off and play short. Bernie Williams, the center fielder, will bat second. Alex Rodriguez, the third baseman, bats third. Jason Giambi is your DH this morning. And will clean up. And Gary Sheffield batting fifth in right field. Deki Matsui, the left fielder, bats sixth. Travis Lee, the first baseman, bats seventh. Jason F or Kevin Fl Flaherty, I forgot what his first name was. The catcher bats eighth, and Enrique Wilson, the second baseman, bats ninth. So Posada gets the day off. On the hill today for Boston is Bronson Arroyo, and boy, do they need to get six out of him. They did in his last start. He went 0-1. His record is 0-1 with a 4-5-0 ERA, six innings, four hits, a home run, a walk, and six strikeouts. Let me see real quick if we can. I think that was against Baltimore. No, it was the ninth against Toronto. So, oh, it was opening day here. So six innings, four hits, three runs all earned. So today they hope to get six out of them because the bullpen has been rocked with uh, not so great starts from both Tim Wayfield and Derek Lowe. The defense behind Bronson this morning, Manny Ramirez in left. Johnny Damon in center and Gabe Kapler is in right today. Bill Miller is at third. Pokey Reese at short. Cesar Crespo is at second again. Oh my. And David McCarty is at first. Jason Fairtech back behind the plate and Arroyo on the mound. So let's get to it. The ball game starts with a line drive. Base hit in the left. So Jeter starts the day with a single. And is on first. That'll bring up Bernie Williams. I didn't even give you Jeter's numbers. I'm sorry about that. Bernie's at 250 on a year. Four homers and eight RBI. The pitch from Arroyo. There's a line drive to center that will fall in for a base hit. A fix of the dimensions here at Fenway. They're now, according to what Wikipedia has, 379 to the left center alley and 420 to dead center or to right center. 38. 380 to the bullpen and 302 down the line and right. That's closer to what it was. They had 334 and 390, which is, I believe, what it is to the, that left of the flagpole there. Alex Rodriguez is a batter. Alex still has a nine-game hitting streak going at 367, a homer, nine RBI. The Yankees are off to a good start. Here's the pitch from Arroyo. Got him! Check swing, strike three. So one out. Jason Giambi, the batter. Jason is at 182, no homers and eight RBI. And he draws a walk. So the Yankees have him loaded for Gary Sheffield, who is one of the best in driving home runs so far in the American League this year with 14. He goes with a 348 average and four home runs. Arroyo struggling, one out here in the first. The pitch, here's a pop-up. Reese goes over into foul territory and makes the grab for the out, two out. Oh boy, if they could strand the, the loader, that'd be tremendous. Hideki Matsui, the batter. Hideki at 304, three homers and eight RBI. The pitch from Bronson, there's a fly ball to center. Damon is there and makes the grab. Wow, no runs, two hits, no errors. They strand them all. Leave them loaded after one half inning. New York nothing, Boston coming to bat. Arroyo, by the way, through 31 pitches. So Kevin Brown looking very happy in his Texas Rangers hat on the hill for New York. 
is in three starts. He has a 2-0 record for the Yankees and the earned run average of .87. 20 innings, 14 hits, walked four and struck out 12. And here is the lineup the Red Sox will put against him. Damon will lead off. Bill Miller will bat second. David Ortiz is the DH today. He'll bat third. Manny Ramirez bats fourth. Jason Veritek bats fifth. Dave McCarty bats sixth. Crespo bats seventh. Why? Uh, Gabe Kapler bats eighth and Pokey Reese. Reese bats ninth. The defense around Kevin Brown, Matsui in left, Bertie Williams in center, Gary Sheffield in right, Alex Rodriguez at third, Derek Jeter at short, Enrique Wilson at second, Travis Lee at first, and I believe it's John Flaherty behind the plate. Not a great arm, average range. All right, so Brown is ready, and so is Johnny Damon. Johnny's at 295, three homers and nine RBI. And Johnny starts this one off with a ground ball to Wilson for the first for the first out. Bill Miller at 205, two homers and six RBI. Brown delivers a pop up. Lee goes over by the line and makes the ground for two out. David Ortiz at 405, four homers and 16 RBI. And Poppy swings and pops this one up. Sheffield comes in, Lee goes out, Lee makes the grab on the dirt. No runs, no hits, no errors. We've played one, no score. So Arroyo got his work in the first, had the bases loaded and pitched his way out of it. That's pretty good. I forgot to change that saying, gosh darn it. Travis Lee is at 0 for 4 on the year. He played in an earlier game in this series and for his opening part of the year. I believe he played Saturday's game. Arroyo delivers, there's a ground ball to Reese, throw to McCarty, not in time. So it's an infield hit for Lee and that's the third Yankee hit of the game. It is John Flaherty. He looks awful happy there, doesn't he? 044 on the year. 252, six overs, 16 RBI in real life. And Arroyo gets him on a 2 2 breaking ball on the outside corner. So two strikeouts for Bronson. And now we'll bring up Enrique Wilson with one out. Lee not a threat to steal. Enrique at 295, four homers, and seven RBI. Arroyo deals, ground ball foul. So the count goes to two balls and two strikes to Enrique. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball to Arroyo. Throws it over to McCarney. Two out. That'll bring up Derek Jeter. 50 pitches now for Arroyo. His first time through. Derek singled his first time up and did not score. Here's the pitch. Here's a ground ball off Arroyo's glove. That's an error. And so the Yankees stay alive here in the second. Lee goes to third, Jeter on first. That'll bring up Bernie Williams, who singled his first time up. The pitch, here's a ground ball to Crespo. Throws to McCarty and that retires the side. Another hefty inning for a Royal pitch count wise, but the scoreboard stays the same. No runs, one hit and one error. After one and a half, the Yankees nothing, the Red Sox nothing. And I'm gonna do something real quick, hold on. Me off to didn't have the walks and the strikeouts there. I was trying to do the stolen bases, but they don't have them all. All right, so after that housekeeping mistake, here we go. It's the bottom of the second, and Brown got through the side on a tiny 11 pitches. Manny had 283, four homers, and nine RBI. And the first pitch to Manny is a ground ball to Jeter. Throws to Lee in time for the out. Chase Veritek now at 514, four homers, and eight RBI. The pitch, there's a line drive gone in the right center field. Veritek just crushes that one for a homer. 
and the Commodore 64 says 389 on that into the bullpen. The Commodore 64, so 80s, so awesome. Kevin Brown will now pitch to Dave McCarty. McCarty is 0 for 4 on the year. Red Sox lead 1 0. Popped up. Jeter goes over by the bag at second for the second out. Cesar Crespo, the batter. Cesar 1 for 14. That's 0 71. No homers and surprisingly two RBI. Here's the pitch. Here's a ground ball to second. A first. Lee flips over to Brown to retire the side. One run, one hit, no error. As we played two, the Red Sox won, the Yankees nothing. Though here comes A-Rod. He struck out in his first time up. Arroyo has thrown 58 pitches in through two innings, but has not given up a run. Two innings, three hits, a walk, and two strikeouts. Rodriguez being one of them. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball, right, a fly ball right to Ramirez for the out. So a line drive that was low off the ground and Ramirez grabs it off his shoe tops. One away for Giambi. Jason walked his first time up. And he's plunked. He's hit on the arm. Yeah, sure he tried to move. That'll bring up Sheffield. Gary's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch from Arroyo. There's a long drive to left center and that ball is gone. Giambi and Sheffield score a two-run shot into the monster seats. That's the fifth of the year for Sheffield. Commodore 64 says that went 386 feet. That ball was crushed, and the Yankees go up two to one. So Arroyo has been tap dancing in a minefield the first two plus innings, and it finally comes back to bite him. And I'll bring up Matsui. Hideki is 0 for one. Here's the pitch. He gets him. A full count on the outside corner for the second out. Travis Lee, who singled his first time up now as the batter. Royal delivers, and a line drive right back to Bronson to retire the side, but not before the Yankees get two runs on one hit and no errors. We've played two and a half, the Yankees two, the Red Sox one. And so Brown will face Kapler, Reese, and Damon. Gabe is at 115 on the year. No homers or RBI. Here's the pitch. Kapler swung on and missed. 0 2 pitch. So one out. That's the first strikeout for Brown. And then I'll bring on Pokey, who is at, 0, at 162. No homer and two RBI. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to Jeter. Throws to first. Two out. Johnny Damon, the batter. Johnny was retired his first time up. Here we go. And Damon draws a walk. So he's not really a threat to steal this particular time around because Brown is pretty good at doing that. Holding runner is on. Here's Miller. Bill is 0 for 1. Brown at a very tidy 34 pitches. He delivers. And there's a line drive right to Jeter to end the inning. A nice play. No runs, no hits, no errors. We played three. The Yankees two, the Red Sox one. So two runs on four hits for New York, no errors, and they've stranded five. Arroyo has the fatigue warning up already. As we start the fourth, the Red Sox have a run, a hit, and an error, the run being on the home run by Veritek, and they've stranded one. John Flaherty struck out his first time up. Arroyo delivers as a fly ball to left. Manny's there, one out. Enrique Wilson retired his first time up the batter. Pops it up, Pokey's there. Reese has it, two out. Derek Jeter, and I still didn't give you the, his numbers for the year. 268, the current batting average. No homers and three RBI. He has singled once today. One for two. Roydo's ready, the pitch. There's a fly ball to right center, and it's gonna grab the wall all the way out to the triangle, and Jeter is on with a double. Damon throws it back in, there was no slide. Now will bring up Bernie Williams. Bernie is one for two with a single. Royal deals, there's a fly ball to left center. Damon runs over and makes the grab. So no runs, one hit, and no errors. We played three and a half this Monday. New York two, Boston one. Well, that makes no sense. I'm looking at the weather. You don't see that in the video, but it gives me the temperature, the sky conditions, and the wind. And it says 10 mile an hour winds, 10 miles an hour, and none. 
usually gives me a direction of where they're blowing out to, but right now it's none. I might have screwed something up when I added the stuff in the ballpark. David Ortiz is 0 for 1 today. Kevin Brown, 35 pitches through three. Ortiz strikes out, swung on and missed on an 0-2 pitch. That'll bring up Manny, who's 0 for 1. Pitch to Ramirez. There's a line drive right to Jeter, two out. So Brown is cruising. Here is Jason Veritek. Jason Homer to right center to give the Red Sox a 1-0 lead in the second. The pitch. Here's a line drive to right. Sheffield is there, and that's the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors. We've played four. It's the Yankees two, the Red Sox one. And we're going to give Arroyo a little bit of rope here, even though he's at 102 pitches. You see the red mark on the screen, but they say he's fine. So he'll face Alex Rodriguez, Jason Giambi, and Gary Sheffield. Uh, Rodriguez is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. The pitch. He got him on a strikeout. 2 2 pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. So four for Bronson. Now I'll bring up Giambi. Jason has walked, been plunked, and scored in the third. Royals ready. There's a line drive to center. Damon's there, two out. So Arroyo taking one for the team here, now on 112 pitches. Gary Sheffield, the batter. Gary hit the two run homer in the third that put the Yankees up two to one. One for two. And now it's 16 RBI on the year. The pitch. He draws a walk, and that will be it for Arroyo. Deki Matsui is 0 for 2. But let's take care of Arroyo first. The bullpen decimated by just use. Here is the 17th Red Sox pitcher of the year, Lenny DiNardo, who in real life had no record. 27 innings, 34 hits, one homer allowed. He walked 12 and struck out 21 with an ERA of 423. I believe this is the infamous left-hander in to get one out or Lugie. There's two lefties to bat Matsui and Lee, so he'll get the next two batters at least. Two outs here in the top of the fifth. Yankees up two to one. Pitch to Matsui, ball four. So a walk for DiNardo to make the year. Now will bring up Travis Lee, who was one for two with a single. The pitch, there's a ground ball right up the middle, base hit. Sheffield is gonna try to score. There's a chance they could get him. Damon's throw is not in time. So the runner scores, Sheffield scores, and it makes it three to one New York. John Flaherty is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Donardo delivers, and there's a fly ball right down the line and left. Matsui scores. Lee will round third. Man, he's throwing it home. Here's the plate. The plate, they got him. So, score it 7 6 3 as the re relay from Pokey is in time, and that's the inning. The Yankees put up two more. It's stretch time. Not stretch time, we're halfway home in Boston on Patriots Day. It's the Yankees four, the Red Sox one. And a reminder, late night tonight, Craig Ferguson welcomes your favorite guests on the Dumont Television Network. Okay, McCarty, Crespo, and Kapler are up. McCarty do up. McCarty is 0 for 1. Brown, now 4-1 lead now. You can kind of feel it. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball, base hit into right in the left center, or line drive base hit, and McCarty starts off the inning with a hit. Veritek and McCarty have the two hits. Here's Crespo, puts 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. Crespo grounds one to Wilson, flips to Jeter for 1. Over to Lee in time, that's 2. Gabe Kapler, who struck out his first time up, the batter, he's 0 for 1. One of the two strikeouts for Brown. Kapler hits a line drive to the wall. That is a ground, that will go to the wall for a double, and that's Kapler's first extra base hit of the year. So that will bring up Pokey Reese, who is 0 for 1. 
Pitch to Pokey. There's a line drive, right field, base hit. Kapler's gonna touch Sheffield's arm. The throw to the plate is in time for the out. So Pokey was gonna get second. Kapler was trying to score. The chances were 64 out of 100. And Sheffield threw him out. So there's been two outfielders, two runs cut down by outfielders today. Manny cut one down the top of the fifth, and Sheffield cut one down in the, in the bottom of the fifth. So Lenny DiNardo will at least start the inning. He'll face Enrique Wilson, who's 0 for 2, with Derek Jeter and Bernie Williams to follow. Here's the pitch to Enrique. Fly ball to center. Damon's there, one out. Derek Jeter is 2 for 3. He has singled and doubled. And lines went right back to, grounds one back to DiNardo, pardon me, throw to McCarty, two out. So DiNardo has turned this into a positive. Here's Bernie Williams. Bernie's one for three with a single. The pitch, ball four. Bernie walks on a full count, pitch in the dirt. So here is Alex Rodriguez with a nine game hitting streak. He has struck out twice and is 0 for three. Here's the pitch, they got him. He got him on the inside corner, and Rodriguez goes down by way of the K. No runs, no hits, no errors. After five and a half, it's New York four, Boston nothing. one. I forgot they have a run. So top of the lineup for Boston, Damon, Miller, and Ortiz. Damon is over one with a walk. Brown at 59 pitches, twice to the lineup. You could not ask for a better job so far from, from Kevin Brown. Five innings, four hits, a home run, a walk, and two strikeouts. Pitch to Damon. There's a high fly ball to center. Back goes Williams, who has it on the track for the first down. Bill Miller is 0 for 2. He hits a fly ball down the line and right. Sheffield goes over, makes the grab. David Ortiz is 0 for 2 in the strikeout. Brown delivers. There's a fly ball to right. Sheffield goes over into foul territory and makes the grab to retire the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors. We've played six, New York still leads four to one. So it's warmed up as we cross into the early afternoon, 67 degrees, a 10 mile an hour wind somewhere. Jason Giambi, 0 for one with a walk and a plunk and a run scored. And he grounds it foul. So the count is one ball and two strikes. Here we go. Giambi singles to right field. And that's how the Yankees start the seventh inning. Gary Sheffield, who hit the two-run homer in the fifth, and he scored in the sixth. He scored twice today. Going to have a pitching change. Mike Timlin comes into the game. Timlin in five innings has allowed six hits, three walks and three strikeouts. A 4-7-6 ERA and a 1-0 record. The Sheffield is, as I said, one for two. We had the two-run homer in the fifth. Four runs on eight hits for the Yankees. No errors and they've stranded eight. Boston, one run, four hits, one error, and they've stranded two. Pitch to Sheffield, popped up. Pokey goes over on the grass at short left and makes the ground one out. Hideki Matsui's 0 for 2. He has walked and scored and, and struck out. And he hits a ground ball to Pokey. Throws it across for the out. No! It's an infield hit for Matsui. The throw is not in time. I'm surprised they didn't get the, go for the force at second. So Giambi on second, Matsui on first for Travis Lee, who is two for three. He has matched his hit total in the real season. He's single twice with an RBI. Here's the pitch. Popped up, short center, Damon's there. Giambi will hold two out. So that'll bring up John Flaherty. Flaherty one for three with a double and an RBI. Also has struck out. The pitch. And there's a ground ball right down the line. Giambi scores. Here comes Matsui. 
Manny's gonna throw it home. The relay from Reese is in time. They got him. So the Yankees put one, but for the second time today, Ramirez to Reese to Veritek to cut down that suing. So at stretch time on the back bay, the Yankees now lead five to one. Manny Ramirez is 0 for 2. Kevin Brown has thrown six beautiful innings, four hits, the one earned run the, on the homer to Veritek, a walk and two strikeouts. And Ramirez flies this one to left, Matsui's there, one out. Jason Veritek, the batter. Jason one for two with that home run. And he hits a ground ball to Lee, and Lee can't get it. It goes under the glove. And so it's a Yankee error, and that'll bring up Dave McCarty, who is one for two with a single. Crespo, because he hasn't had his third at bat to follow, followed by Kapler, who doubled. McCarty. Takes a walk, ball four. So one out for Crespo. Who, who knows, he may surprise us here. As long as he doesn't get a double play. Brown finally in trouble here in the seventh. Five to one, New York. Here's the pitch. There's a fly ball foul down the right field line. So it's an 0-2 count for Crespo. Here it comes from Brown, ground ball to short. Jeter's only play is to first, and he can't beat, he can't get him in time. Crespo beats it out. So the Red Sox have loaded the bases for Gabe Kapler, who is one for two with a double and a strikeout. Veritek on third, McCarty on second, and Crespo on first. Here's the pitch to Kapler. Fly ball, shallow center. Bernie's there to make the grab. Veritek will hold. That will be it for Brown. Nope, oh, they can pitch to Kaplan. I want to make that change and do it when the runner's here. Pokey Reese is one for two with a single. Five to one New York. This will probably be Brown's last batter. He delivers and there's a ground ball base hit. Veritek and McCartney score. Crespo goes to third. A ground ball in the hole on the left, plates two, and it's now five to three, New York. They'll bring up Johnny Damon, and I assume now they would go for the change. No, Damon hits a line drive to the left center. That'll score Crespo, and now that will that will do it. It's a double for Damon. Restops at third. Paul Quantrill is on. And it's 5 to 4 New York. Quantrill, 0 and 2 on the year. 5.56 ERA. 11 innings, 15 hits, 5 walks, and 6 strikeouts. You know, if they had given up the hit to, um, to Kapler, I would have let the computer go through and make the pitching change. But he had the out, and he wasn't over his pitch count. So why not? He pitched a one better too far. Oh. So the tying run in Reese is on third. Damon, the go-ahead run, is on second. And Bill Miller at the plate. Bill is 0 for 3 and is big time due for a base hit. Here's the pitch. Here's a ground ball to Jeter. Throws it to Lee, and that's the inning. So the Red Sox get three hits, three runs, and one error. We played seven. It's a ball game again. The Yankees five, the Red Sox four. I'm going to go with Folk here in the eighth. I'm going to go with... I'm going to bring in Mark Malasco, the lefty, on short rest because I don't want to bring in Folk at the moment. Mark is 0-1 on the year with an 844 ERA. Five innings, five hits, one homer, eight walks, and three strikeouts. This could either be work well or be an unmitigated disaster. And knowing how the Red Sox have pitched this year, it's probably going to be an unmitigated disaster. Enrique Wilson is 0 for 3. Melasco delivers a ground ball to McCarty, flips to Melasco, one out. Derek Jeter now. Derek 2 for 4 with a double and a single. Jeter puts one down the right field line. He will go in for a stand-up. Oh, throw the third. They got him. He had the double. 
Wow, and he went to take the extra base. And so score it Kathler to Crespo, and Crespo was smart enough to throw it to third, and Jeter is out taking the extra base. Scored a double and out going to third. That'll bring up Bernie Williams. Bernie's one for three. He is single to one. Alaska delivers ground ball to Pokey, throw to McCarty, and that retires the side. A huge mistake by the Yankees. No runs, one hit, and no errors. We played seven and a half. They still lead five to four. So with Quantrill pitching, this is their chance. They have the, the heart of the lineup up, Ortiz, Ramirez, and Veritek. With Mo Rivera, I'm sure, to waiting to pitch the ninth. 68 degrees, my gosh, it's just a beautiful day here in the early afternoon. Ortiz 0 for 3 and hits a high fly ball to right. Sheffield's there to make the grab one out. That'll bring up Manny. Manny's 0 for 3. It's a ground ball, base hit left side through the hole between third and short. So Manny's on with a single. And that'll bring up Veritek, who's homered, is one for three. He has scored twice. Quantrill delivers, and that's a ground ball base hit into left center. So Ramirez moves over to third. He takes the extra base. Smart running by Manny. And that's a tying run. Veritek is on first. The go-ahead run for Dave McCarty, who is one for two with a walk, a run scored in a single. Anything short of a double play if it's hit to score Manny. Here's the pitch. It's a strikeout, so McCarney goes down on a full count, and that will be it for Quantrill. This is huge. Gordon, two innings on the year, one hit. He has struck out two and was a setup guy. And we can pinch hit for Cesar Crespo now, can't we? We're gonna bring in, we're facing a righty. Who can hit righties? Kevin Millar. So Millar into pinch hit at 256 on the year, a homer and three RBI. Manny can tie the game. Veritek is the go ahead run. And Millar is hit. Oh my goodness. So that will bring up Kapler, who was one for three. He's doubled. Five to four New York here in the eighth. Gordon delivers. There's a ground ball to Jeter. He flips to second to retire the side. No runs, two hits, no errors. We played eight. New York five, Boston four. Mark Bellhorn comes in to play second. We're going to let Malaska see what he can do here. Give him a second inning on short work. 0 for 4 is Alex Rodriguez. He has fanned three times. It's a fly bottle left center. Back goes Manny and it hits the Coke bottles. So Rodriguez extends his hitting streak to 10 games. That was down the line and left for 311 feet of yards. Still think I'm playing golf. So it's now six to four, a big insurance run for the New York. Jason Giambi now, one for two. He is single, walked, and scored twice. And he draws a walk. That'll do it from Alaska. So the only reliever left for the Red Sox that's not fatigued is Keith Folk. Keith has an ERA of 506. He has a record of 1-0 with three saves, five innings, five hits, two home runs, a walk and four strikeouts. Sheffield is one for three with a homer and two RBIs, a walk and two runs scored. And he's hit. Ooh, I'm surprised the benches didn't clear there. So we're just doing Plunk City here. Matsui the batter, Hideki's one for three. 
a strikeout, a walk, and a run scored along with a single. Polk delivers, fly ball to shallow right. Kapler's there, makes the grab for the out, one out. Travis Lee the batter, Travis is two for four with an RBI, two singles. He hits a line drive base hit to right. That will load the bases for John Flaherty, who is two for four with two doubles and two RBI. And he lines one to Miller for the second out. So they're still loaded. The Yankees have stranded nine so far. Here's Enrique Wilson, he's 0 for four. And Enrique pops it up, but Carney's there and makes the grab. Here comes the Sandman, Mariano Rivera. And one run on two hits, the big home run by A-Rod. No errors, eight and a half down, New York six, Boston four. So here's little Big Mo. Has an ERA of three, has three saves, no wins or losses. In three innings, he's given up four hits. He has walked one and struck out three. And he will face Pokey Reese, Johnny Damon, and Bill Miller. Pokey is two for three. The big two-run single in the seventh to make it a one-run game. Rivera delivers. Ground ball to Jeter and deep in the hole and he makes the play. Gosh darn it. Here's Johnny Damon. Johnny is one for three with a double and a walk. Probably one of the four Red Sox runs. Six, 13, and one for the Yankees. They strand 12. The Red Sox four, nine, and one. They stranded seven. Rivera delivers. There's another ground ball to Jeter. Throw to lead two out. And so Bill Miller is the last hope today for the Red Sox. 0 for 4. And there's a line drive right center base hit. Now I'll bring up Ortiz, who is a tying run. So Rivera is ready. So is Ortiz. 0 for 4 with the strikeout today. The pitch. Fly ball, right center, back goes Williams, it's off the wall. Miller rounds third, he will score. Ortiz is in the second with a huge double and it's six to five. So here comes Manny, who was one for four with a single and can win this with a home run. Rivera delivers, ground ball to Jeter, throw to first, the Yankees hang on to win. One run, two hits, no errors. The Yankees take three out of four here at Fenway over the weekend with a 6-5 win. Your totals coming right up. Well, you can't say it was boring now, can you? The Yankees go to nine and four with two in the third, two in the fifth, one in the seventh, and that Alex Rodriguez homer in the ninth was huge because it gave them an insurance run. So the Yankees get six runs on 13 hits and one error. The Red Sox slip to five and seven with a run in the second, three in the seventh off a of tiring Kevin Brown, and one in the ninth, the double by Ortiz that scored Miller. Then So five runs, 11 hits, one error. Brown goes, Kevin Brown goes to 3-0. He actually pitched a very good game. The error hurt him. I forgot who made the error. A six and two thirds inning, seven hits, four runs, one earned. The home run, that was to Veritech. He walked two and struck out to Quantrill, Gordon, and Rivera. Do Yeoman's work in the bullpen. Rivera gave up that run in the ninth. Gordon, wow, got away with that because his stuff was minus, as you can see. The Red Sox, Bronson Arroyo, just, oh my goodness. Pitch after pitch after pitch. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Four and two thirds innings, five hits, three runs all earned. A home run that was to Sheffield. He walked two and struck out four. DiNardo just didn't have anything there. Timlin pitched well for an inning. Malaska again. The Red Sox starters have thrown so short you just need, they just don't have anybody. And Keith Folk came in to pitch the ninth after the Malaska gave up the home run to A-Rod and retired the side with a hit. The Red Sox ERA drops by the way to 638 and that's with giving up six earned runs. Oof. The Yankees strand 12, the Red Sox strand 8. Commodore Vic 20 says the player of the game is Derek Jeter. Jeter went 3 for 5 with 2 RBI. I would have said Sheffield. 
who went one for three with two runs scored and two RBIs, and the home run. But they're paying the freight for this Commodore VIC-20 because everyone in your family who doesn't know how to use a computer can use it. It's easy, and you can program it. Time of the game, four hours and one minute, so if you were there to catch the runners up at Hop trying to cross the finish line, you missed it because they already finished. 60 degrees with almost no wind at all. It was a beautiful day for baseball. The Red Sox will see the Yankees again over the weekend, but for now, the bus is being loaded up, and we're headed to Toronto for three. Until we talk to you the next time, this is Ron Juckett. Have a good one.